How do you see INO prices behaving, Mr. Upal? We've seen INO costs come down considerably, uh, and you've been increasing capacity. How does this affect your numbers? <laughs> you know, this is uh, uh, interesting that you're saying that we're increasing the capacity. We indeed are increasing the capacity. This is a very important year for GSPL because we're increasing the capacity from 3 to 3.5 million that we had so far to double is, uh, you know, uh, the present the previous capacity. Uh, we should be touching about uh, seven, seven and a half million tons starting from the second half of this uh, financial year. Uh, as for prices for uh, the commodities are concerned, including raw material and the other products of steel, uh, the prices of the raw material have uh, gone down uh, considerably in the last uh, uh, six to eight weeks' time. The iron ore prices have fallen. The prices for the coking coal, uh, you know, has, has gone down. And so is the prices of the semi-finished products and uh, several other steel products which are there in the market. Uh, this is basically related to the general demand for steel. Right. And uh, vis a vis the capacity. What has actually happened is that uh, the Indian producers continue to build the capacity based on the anticipated demand, sure. which I think should happen. Sure. Uh, you know, it was widely anticipated that the total demand for steel uh, by 2021 22 should be in the range of 130 million tons, as against uh, 78 to 80 that we have right now, uh, which basically translates into a compound growth rate of about 8%, which I think is very realistic for a developing economy like ours. Right. But, uh, but unfortunately, in the last uh, 6 to 12 months' time, uh, demand hasn't really quite grown the way it was anticipated, but the capacity came, uh, continued to come about. I think in the, in the medium and long term, the steel industry has a great promise. Uh, I think it's only in the short term that there are concerns, but I'm uh, rather optimistic that we're going to come out of this uh, situation. We don't have to wait very long.